Power 1051 is the Breakfast Club. Good morning. We got a special guest in the building. One of the most beautiful women in the world. Miss Kelly Rowland. She looks like she is handcrafted from the finest of Godiva chocolates. <laughs> First of all, I saw that quote down my Twitter timeline. Yes. <laughs> it was so funny. It's so sweet. Don't fall for it. Charlamagne. It's, it's hard not to be creepy around Miss Kelly Rowland, okay? You creepy around yes. everybody. You have amazing dresses when you're at all the award shows and you're working yes. the red carpets. You just be looking stunning. Thank you, Sean. Well, Envy said that you looked at his ass. She, no, I said she okay. liked my jeans. That's not what she said. I said she liked my pants. I was like, I really doubt Kelly said that about you. But, but if you look at a dude's pants, it's not like you're not checking out his ass, right? Okay. There you go. Stand up, Envy. <laughs> no, I'm not Stand showing you my ass. You're my sister. You cannot see my ass ye. I really want to start, tell a story Envy told me a long time ago, but I'm not going to say anything about don't it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm sorry. Uh-oh. Don't embarrass me. I'm looking for you. Don't embarrass me. He's turning about. red already. Now, Kelly, let's talk about Kisses Down Low. Okay. Because that means that's a lot crazy. to me in particular. Why does it mean a lot to you? Now, that song is about a man performing oral sex on you and how important that is. <laughs> well, we see what right Kelly or likes. Wrong. You don't have that problem, Kelly, though. Guys have no problem how, performing how oral sex is, on you, I'm sure. How important is that to you, though? I think it's important that you know what you're doing. Right. Now, if you could give guys instructions on the proper way to do that. Oh, me? Yeah, because we've, we've had to do this the before. The main thing is know what you're doing. Right. Just know what you're doing. I never knew how Please. to do it. A young lady had to give me a book called The Ultimate Kiss, and it showed me how to <laughs> properly perform oral sex. But she kept it real with me, though. She told me, like, yo, you, you don't really she do a good you. job. Absolutely. I think it's very important <laughs> between two people to be completely honest about everything, including that. It's very hard, true. though, sometimes <laughs> to criticize somebody on their tech. Me. No, because you just give them a hand. You so help what do you them like? Them what hand. do you like, Kelly? <laughs> you help them out. How do, them hand, how, right? how do you expect me to get better if you don't tell me what I'm doing? Yeah, exactly. Like, like for instance, exactly. No, it's like a child. You have to mm -hmm. teach a child. You know. Well, you don't want a child to not be a good example. Not a child. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not a good you know, example, Miss no, 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 I'm <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? You have to make sure you teach them what's One going on. One of my on. friends said it has to be like a kitten lapping up milk. That's how a guy should do it. Like <laughs> lapping up milk. Little lick. A young lady told me off and on like a light switch. There's a goal in the milk. What about off? <laughs> on like a light switch. Off, on, off, on, off, on. That's what she told me. Oh my God, have we turned this This guy's bit? nursery. <laughs> like off and on like I a mean, light switch. Off, kiss, on. Kisses down low. It's very, okay. Would you be with a guy who doesn't? Who says I don't do that? Mm -mm. Exactly. <laughs> I always Sorry. say that you have to lick it before you stick it. You gotta <laughs> what? Pass There's it a song it. like that. You oh gotta lick it. Before, Before you, you stick, stick it, it. Right. <laughs> you gotta take that extra step so you can kick it. All so right, you know Kelly. <laughs> Remix. Now, Kelly, you down I'm not married. Are you engaged? I'm not engaged. Oh, did, you go on a, did you go on there, a date with saw, Jamie Foxx? Were you looking at my I know, I seen a tattoo on your ring finger. No, that's like me and my best friend, and then this one, one on my foot is between me and my best friend. All of my tattoos have to do with anything spiritual or friendship. Okay. Yeah. Jamie Foxx was trying to get at you heavy on that red carpet. Was that oh, serious? I was so embarrassed when that happened. But you know, he was also trying, we're doing a movie together. Oh. Mm. So we're Home doing movie? a movie? Yeah, no. <laughs> Look at you. Let me see your hand. <laughs> so, um, no, but we're doing a movie together. Um, he's gonna go talk, start talking about it in great detail. But it's a really cool project that he asked me to be on. But by the time he was about to get into that detail, the you know we had we were live on the red carpet, so it wasn't announced. It seems like Hollywood's all over you lately. Uh, I don't know. That's good. It's a good thing. <laughs> but you did say that you would consider going out with him. No, I didn't. You didn't? I she read said that. No. no. Jamie's my friend. That's okay. weird. He's old enough to be your father. <laughs> no, he's not. I don't know about that. But if he did ask you out, would you go? I mean, on a date? Why not? Um, I don't know. That would be weird because Jamie's my boy. Like That's how those things start, though. Somebody's your friend first. That's she's trying boy. to say the nice way she doesn't find him attractive. Ye. No, she no, That's the nice no, way out. You don't no, like Django? No, no. <laughs> I love Django. I love Did you Django. ask him if that was him or a body double when he was upside down naked? No, Jamie has a nice body. Okay. How have would you, you know? Have you seen him play butt oh naked basketball? God. No, <laughs> I haven't seen him play butt naked, butt naked basketball. basketball. Where you start these rumors from? You. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you say you. Him, him, <laughs> stop. Him. Envy asked Jamie. Jamie spilled his coffee when Envy asked him that. Envy asked him. Uh, he said Jamie he used, spilled his coffee. He said I heard that you play butt naked basketball and you used to give men lap dances. Jamie spilled his coffee in him. He was like, "There's no punchline." There's no punchline envy. You just gonna come at me like that? Oh my god! He hasn't been here since. <laughs> hasn't been here since. Now we gotta ask you, Kelly. Uh -oh. You have to ask me. Super Bowl. You jump out of the thing. Mm -hmm. Michelle jumps out of the thing. People get at Michelle saying Michelle wasn't singing uh, as well as you and Beyonce were. Who said that? Who's people? Everybody. Yeah, who, Keisha Cole. Said that. Who the only person I heard that? say that was Keisha Cole. 
with her lame ass. But anyway. Well, she said that as well. But, you know, how was uh, that performance? Because we weren't there. So we can only see it from, from I guess, from what we see. So can how I was that performance? Completely and how was Michelle? Yes, be completely I honest. I don't remember what happened on stage. Mm -hmm. um, I remember looking at my feet before I went through the shoot. Mm -hmm. And that was it. Mm -hmm. And afterwards, I remember everybody downstairs, when mm -hmm. we went downstairs, they were like, oh, my God, it was great. It was great. And I saw it on th the computer screen. Mm -hmm. But that was it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I think that it was just a moment that was just so surreal, mm -hmm. to completely be honest. And I'll never know what it felt like. I thought anybody that hated <laughs> on that moment was just a real hater. Like, if you had something negative to say about that performance, you were just a hater. Oh. Wow. Test the well, you know what, group? Kelly? I'm sure you're used to it, though. I mean, it's all part of being famous. People love you, and then, of course, some people have negative things to say. Exactly. So, Now, i got to ask you about something else. This picture surfaced, and it was a picture of you crying. On your birthday. On your oh. birthday. Oh. And I felt so bad. And then I was like, well, maybe she got a great present, and she was touched. I didn't, But no, it looked like I'm, sad tears. I'm sorry, no, Kelly. No, I didn't call you. I know you're supposed to spend your birthday together. I didn't <laughs> call you. I'm sorry. I apologize now, sincerely. <laughs> All right, because you stood me up. Yes, That's right. I apologize. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's tears of happiness. Yeah. <laughs> no, they weren't. <laughs> no, the crazy thing is, is on my birthday, I had an epiphany about life, and it made me very emotional. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I was thinking about family. It's corny. I was thinking about family. I was mm -hmm. thinking about friendship I was thinking about the things that I won and you know the things that I have I feel like I haven't yet conquered and all that other kind of stuff and it made me happy actually um because like what what haven't you conquered that you want to conquer um you know just different business ventures I feel like the the sky's the limit mm -hmm. I can do whatever I want as mm -hmm. as people we can do whatever we want as long as we work hard to those things but I just was so happy like it's cool when you can be honest with yourself mm -hmm. and I was honest with myself about family and friends and people mm -hmm. that come in and out of your life it's just life it's right. a part of life and I embraced it the heartbreak the happiness mm -hmm. part of it everything so that's mm -hmm. what that those tears were a friend of mine called me and asked me I was like I'm fine I'm fine <laughs> but yeah. I was like poor Kelly uh, uh, what happened I'm no afraid. but the, I mean the crazy thing is I didn't even see that guy like until um until my cousin said, is that a glare? And then we saw the light. You know what oh, I mean? Man. The light against the anything. camera. I was like, God, dog. And I can't even cry in private. <laughs> <laughs> Think right. about that next time you're undressing in your hotel room with the windows open. Like, act like they're not there when they're taking pictures so they can oh let those... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> creep, creep, creep. creep life do you, ever, do you ever feel like, you know, um, maybe you're not whole as a woman yet because you're like Beyonce's married and had a baby like Lala's your close friend she's married and had a baby and stuff all like my that girlfriends have mm -hmm. babies that actually was a thought mm -hmm. um, to be completely honest but I I truly believe that whenever it's my time to be married and have a child I will because in all honesty mm -hmm. I am still selfish I like mm -hmm. to get up whenever I feel like it mm -hmm. I you know things change and I like mm -hmm. my life the way it is right now and yeah, it's no you, fault of your own because yeah. you're a beautiful woman a guy she could have been married name. she was Thank engaged you. before it didn't work out but yeah, yeah you know Angela, go bring that up of damn course. it man yeah, Kelly was a gay before huh? who was she Kelly was never mind <laughs> 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 Damn it, man. <laughs> now, musically. Now, I remember one time you were a little musically confused. Mm -hmm. you why are you, wait a minute. Why, why, why you say it like that? Musically confused? <laughs> so disrespectful. Let me, wait a minute. You're so disrespectful. She's been EDM for a little bit. She no, 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 because let me tell you something. Let me check you real check, quick. Check me. Check him, girl. EDM, I was the first you one. Were? Who did When Love Takes Over and everybody else. And my fans say it all the time. And I didn't even think about it until they said it. So they hit me to this game that after I did When Love Takes Over, everybody started doing it. Mm -hmm. It started to become a trend in the States. Bow down, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> and that's because you was in Europe, though, right? Yeah, I spent a lot of time in Europe. I was inspired. And I mean, it's only a matter of time. If it wasn't me, it would have been somebody else. But it was me. And I did enjoy it. And I did embrace it. And it was something that I... You know, did and it was a a lovely mistake, a beautiful mistake. That, right. You know, but now so. you're back, R&B. Well, I never left. Uh, she was honey. back since the last album. Well, that's Motivation what I mean. Was the but one but hit, now she's man. back. She found the spot <laughs> I back. I never and left. It, it sounded but, amazing. But your new album, you're saying you're returning to your roots. Yes. It I, was like I, you know what I wanted to feel like the first time I cut the radio on when I was a kid and I heard R&B, or the first time mm -hmm. I came to New York and I heard hip hop. Mm -hmm. um, those feelings, those sounds, I wanted for the record. So, mm -hmm. like when I heard New Edition, or when I heard. Um, Tribe Called Quest or something like that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like artists like that who are just movers and shakers and people who just create a sound and a culture in hip hop or R&B. I wanted that moment again. So mm -hmm. I went in the studio with uh, with T Minus mm -hmm. who loves R&B. You should hear the way these guys from Canada talk about 
R and B. They know the history behind it. You they know what I mean? The craft. Boy Wonder, mm-hmm. who who worked with uh, Drake, mm-hmm. and just uh, the, uh, Kevin Cossum to Pharrell. Me and Pharrell had a ball in the studio mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. to Dream. I love Dream. He's just he's such an R and B genius. He's one of the best R and B DI I, singers out there. I love mm-hmm. I love him because he still has a passion and wants everything to be different mm-hmm. and creative and not just from a bland place. Mm-hmm. You know, he pushed me to do something different and to be completely stripped and honest. Stop mm-hmm. it on the record. I thought he was gonna say something crazy. He's saying. naked in the studio. <laughs> I know he was gonna go there. But yeah, so I'm I'm in love with this album. You mm-hmm. said a lot of this album has to do with relationships too yeah. that you've had and you're being like so honest and putting yourself more out there. Yeah. So what's <laughs> <laughs> No Because I, I do truth. feel like we don't know a whole lot about your relationships. They were yeah. saying that you were dating your manager at one point. Everybody's saying a lot of stuff. Yeah, right they now. say a lot because they don't know. A, a whole bunch of people because they don't know. And to be completely honest, I like the fact that I have something to myself. Mm. So, and on the album I share what I want to share. Some things people are gonna be like, What is she talking about? And you know, why does she decide to say that or whatever it might be. I'd love to actually talk to you when I finish this record. You're gonna have a lot of Stuff to say. Oh. So when you was on Chelsea lately, the guy that you said uh, made you, you said you had a good man. You not with him no more. Um, I'm not married. What an idiot. He ain't put a ring on it. I'm That's not. How to put a ring on it? I'm put not. a. How to shot your club up? <laughs> I'm not. You know club up means, right? Well, I was like, what is a club? That's when a man ejaculates what? in you, Kelly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What does it yeah. take for you to decide that you're ready to be committed to somebody, though? I think you just you know. Mm-hmm. And it's just that one person that you want to be committed to. I've seen all of my closest friends, like, in their marriages, or their men usually know, like, they ask them real early, mm-hmm. you're going to marry me or I'm going to marry you. And, um, yeah, I'll be glad when, I will be glad when that happens. Would you want an industry guy or a regular dude? We'll be happy for you, It's hard out here for You want an industry guy or a regular dude? I just want somebody who loves me, and I love the hell out of him. It don't matter. It don't really matter. I, Stop looking. She don't want you, Charlamagne. Stop looking at her like I that. I can imagine. <laughs> right now, I'm imagining. Do you drunk. want love? Charlamagne you don't doesn't want it. no love. Charlamagne, Charlamagne wants polygamy love. to be girls legalized. Charlamagne be having on. Uh, I mean, Charlamagne has on Instagram yeah, every Instagram. night. Yeah. So I'm just joking. It's all entertaining. And the crazy blah, thing blah, is, Kelly, I'm going to keep it real I with you. I saw one, like, nice little grip around the waist. I was like, oh, that must be a special one. Or mm-hmm. one you got in the closet. special. <laughs> None of them are special, Kelly. Now, Kelly, I'm going to be honest cool. with you. Charlamagne has a girlfriend he's been with for 14 years. Oh. Now, how would you feel <laughs> if your man was running the streets? You got a girl for 14 years? She's the mother of my child. Is that your girl? Oh, you can never let that go. That's it's what? always hard for a guy to let, you know. That they live together and everything. They're together. Back to you. Oh, oh man. Damn. That's your boo-boo. That's your baby. Now, back to you. Oh, why back to me? I would love to draw back feel- your bangs like a blind and lick your forehead. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Please don't. Stay with the guy you have now, Kelly. This is, let me give you that advice. Don't even look at I thought I knew who it was. I thought I said, what's up to him every You I, never I give him a lot of respect. That's you might I, know. Or maybe maybe it's not. You never know what God has planned for a person. Now, You've been a person for a long question. time and find somebody Sorry. else. If you and Beyonce are family, Michelle are family. Yes. Gotta ask. Keisha Cole has been stabbing at everybody in, in your family. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about that if you ever see her and do you feel like you have to defend or, or help some of your family members. Don't let like him be Beyonce. walking down this road, Kelly. I'm just asking a question, <laughs> Kelly. Knows, like, I'm asking like Beyonce. You know, Beyonce is not quick to fire back at somebody. You know, Michelle is not quick to fire back at somebody. But you have been outspoken before, and you will. So do you speak Who's about Who's the Tata like and y'all crew that'll make Keisha Cole if she gets really out of <laughs> Stop line? Stop it. You know what? Perfect question. Does it, do you have to hit somebody or give somebody words in order for them to I don't think I think the silence is the best power because you don't have to say nothing Mm -hmm. they did all the talking Mm -hmm. just talk keep talking but I don't think that it's it's important to fire back because you just fueling the fire Mm -hmm. and I just think as you don't have to do that it's Mm -hmm. just ridiculous we too we too grown for that stuff you just go Mm -hmm. about your business and keep doing what you're doing and be successful and that speaks for itself I always say let your work speak for you you don't gotta say anything I completely agree Mm -hmm. I completely agree Kelly does your sweat taste like Swiss Beer's hot cocoa no (laughs) not at all Mm. it's quite salty Mm. wow (laughs) I think that turned them on I think his nipples are hard now (laughs) you know what they're telling me yeah now I also I also said that you are also doing a video journal Mm -hmm. for yourself right now you said it's very private yes but what are some of the things that are on that video journal are you considering it's a journal are you considering putting it out though Mm -hmm. you gotta put it out Uh, 
You can't I, do it for yourself. You got to put it out. I mean, how come I can't do it for myself? Because that's what the fans want to see. Like, we enjoyed seeing Beyonce taping herself looking crazy at times. Look like she just woke up. We want to see that from you. We want to see you bang to the right a little bit. Yeah, I mean, we want to see them make crazy. <laughs> we want to see hot breath. Like, we want to see that. You can't see hot breath. You know, we, we, yeah, can't. I was about to say, can you see breath? Yeah, well, not see hot breath. You know Sometimes what I mean. Sometimes I can see Envy's hot breath. Shut up. <laughs> What do, you, um, what do you think of the new transparent Beyonce? Is that something y'all collectively said we're going to be more I mean, I, I of? always get a chance to see that. Mm -hmm. You know right. what that, I mean? It's Not, been like that for her. Yeah. But what about you? Like, are you thinking about putting it out, or is it really... I haven't thought about it, to be completely honest. Mm -hmm. And for me, that's just for me. I want to do that and look at it a couple of years from now. And you see how far you, you've come and you've grown and what you were mm -hmm. talking about and maybe how ridiculous it was right. or, you know what I mean? So, or if you've, you know, gotten better from that. That's mm -hmm. what mine is for. Okay. You're yeah. definitely getting better with time. Thank you very much. You're on your way to being Vintage Vagina. On your way. Oh, that's a good thing. Vintage Vagina is when you hit 40. And you're aging like wine and not she milk. She has like eight years. I know. So well, she's on her way. Just as long as... Never, never mind. As long as what? What? Nothing. Go ahead and say Don't be, don't be sensitive here, Miss <laughs> Patty LaBelle. Patty LaBelle, <laughs> Vintage Vagina. Say. I know. I know Jennifer you Lopez, Holly Berry. They're yeah. all 40 and plus and banging. Got it. You're on your way to being that boy. Got it. Got it. All right. So the album is coming out June 4th, right? Or not. Is the, is the, I think we're looking at June 4th. I never want to put a date on it unless I'm absolutely positive and certain. Because, you know, mm -hmm. people get stuck to a date. And for me, I am wrapping up everything, like, perfectly, mm -hmm. you know, right now. It's all in the time. So is everything. the title talk a good game? Is that still it the title? It sure is. So what is that about? Like, guys who brag about their penises acting mm -hmm. like they're big when they're small? <laughs> <laughs> Sound familiar? <laughs> Y'all look crazy. <laughs> um, no, it's just basically talking about and saying a lot and you know some things people will probably not believe or believe or you know it's all it's a little talk she's not trying to tell you I'm just, I'm just inhaling the air while Kelly's here man Destiny's Child are we gonna get another song or another album is that in the works that's actually a surprise Okay, so yes. That's, that's a yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a surprise. You're not much of a surprise. You're not making a surprise Kelly. and say no. <laughs> surprise, we're not doing it. <laughs> well, right, what if that's the case? That's no, not going to no, be. No, no, that's not a surprise. We already heard one song. We see you guys perform. So, <laughs> so when is that album going to happen? I, no, I don't know if it's an album. It might just know. be a we song. Have, no, we haven't talked about an album. We haven't talked about a tour. B's mm -hmm. about to go do her tour. Um, I have collaborated with Dream. Dream and I are talking about doing a tour. Michelle mm -hmm. has an album. She's touring with Fela. You know, right. everybody's doing excellent. different That's things. That's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So I'm, you know, I'm happy for my girls. I'm happy for us. Well, you I'm like the, do you like the Bow Down record? I do like the Bow Down record. I think that when you, um, when you just understand who you are as a woman, mm -hmm. You can accept the record. Okay. You, you think the criticism it. is fair? Like, oh, Beyonce is supposed you to be a strong black woman. You know what? People gonna talk. People gonna talk. Who cares? Who cares? Who gives a crap? You, you're an artist. You're allowed to to try out different things and see what you want to do. See if it works or not, or if it's great, whatever. So I think that you know she's blessed. We're all blessed to have freedom. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm excited <laughs> to hear the new album, and you are gonna come back up, and we're gonna have some really insightful, oh god, nasty talk with Kelly Rowland. Because <laughs> I know you have a lot of things you want to say. No, honestly, like you're very, you know, you're very fun. You're very open, and I feel like with this new album, with you talking about certain topics that mm -hmm. a lot of women can relate to, mm -hmm. and you talking a lot about your own personal relationships, we're mm -hmm. gonna learn a lot. Mm -hmm. And I want to make sure I'm there, front and center for that. Oh, cool. I got you. And you're always <laughs> welcome too. I'm gonna get you your own chair because, like, every time you leave, I sniff the chair. No, because like you're so, giving her a chair with two arms instead of the broken chair. But so many people chair? that sit there, I can't tell which smell is which. Okay, well, so I'm going to give you your own chair. Right now, I'm going to give disgusting. you a good hug before I leave so I can leave my And I got on sweatpants, too. Hell yeah. We don't want, oh Charlamagne, <laughs> we don't want Charlamagne smelling the dream from the other day. <laughs> now, how are you as an auntie with blue eyes? How are you with the baby? Oh, <sighs> She can't talk about blue eyes. No, I'm not saying talk it's about not her I'm saying baby. how she are you as auntie? Thank you. Changing it's pampers. Thank you, Doodle on your hand and all that. How are you as an auntie? Doodle on your hand. Mind your business. Jesus Christ. It's okay to tell him mind his business, Kelly. Okay, mind your business. I don't talk about my, my niece. That's just for me and mm -hmm. my niece. Okay. There you go. Now, <laughs> shut the hell up, Red Boy. <laughs> now, we were talking about this topic um, earlier. What is, and I, I know you would love to weigh in on this. What? We were talking about the turnoffs in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. What are some of your turnoffs in the bedroom? Now, I said when a guy has like bumps, like any type of bump, oh I need goodness. the light on, you know, the first time to make sure there's no hair bumps. Or, <laughs> 
Who is she dealing with? I don't know. But what if he can't control that? I know, but I just. She's, <laughs> she's like, Kelly Rowland had a guy with a bump there no, no, before. No, 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 Raise no, no, bump no. I need to she see it though because she said an anger on a hair bump. That's something that like you had. You it can't could control. be or it might not be. I and just need to look. And if it's not, then you need to run like hell. Okay, I don't because sometimes you can't tell what what is this. This bump? is a conversation. Now, guys get hair bumps though. Sorry, Charlamagne. Shut up. <laughs> 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 what are some of your turnoffs? Turnoffs. Um, can you just please be completely naked? Don't keep your socks on. Mm. That's just the ugliest thing. When you walk away and you're naked and you have socks on, <laughs> I'm going to throw up. Now, if he has terrible feet, is it better to have his socks on in that case? Or would you rather see his nasty No, feet? just make sure. If you want me to be soft and when you touch me and everything mm -hmm. and you want... You know, everything to be right on me. How come everything can't be right on you? You know, they want us to have our nails done, our hair done. Even when you, you know, playing with our hair or whatever. Like, right. you want to, you know, you don't want to pull it out or you mm -hmm. don't want it to be all over your head. You still want to be sexy and desirable. Mm -hmm. So you need to be sexy and desirable, too. Right. Our nails need to be done. Our feet need to be soft. Our skin need to be soft. You got to have that Brazilian. Up. Yeah. Exactly. So you need to be cleaned up, too. Very what about, true. so he needs to manscape. I mean, just don't let it look like it's the doggone rainforest. Okay. Charlie just started actually manscaping about six months I've ago. I've been manscaping for two years, sir. No, we had to actually tell him, too. To he tell had him never to heard of it before. Wait, manscaped? Like manscaped? Like manscaped? Yes. 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 Manscaped. Clipping my pubic hair. <laughs> and I love it because it makes my penis look bigger. I need all the help But I he had get. never done that before, so I had to tell him. I'm like, dude, you got to clip down there. It's not yeah. fair to us. No, no, it's not fair. Fair to us? Who the hell is us? What you mean? Us like, ladies. I'm oh. Do you mind if a woman has a bush? Down there? No. Of course they do because yes. then they're like, oh my god, that looks like seventies porn. And I can't eat it the way I want to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> can't eat it the way you want to eat it when it's hairy like that. Mm. I like to get right to the clitoris. Nice. Like you're bald, aren't you? High job. I mean, high job. <laughs> high job. She was like, high job. High job. You know what I don't know what that means, Kelly, but I'm all for it. She was what is a high job? I don't know what that means. What I don't know job? what a high job means, but I'm all for it. Great job. Yes. I'm all for a high job, Kelly. I'll give you one right now. No. I, don't know what it, I don't even know what it is, but I'm, I'm with it, Kelly. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Kelly Rowland, we appreciate you stopping through. I don't want to leave. Y'all are so much fun. <laughs> Almond stores, June. That's what they're saying around June -ish. Well, she doesn't know yet. No, you know, I'll, I'll let you know. You'll let us I'll know. Let you okay. Know. All right, and we look forward to you, and we appreciate you stopping through. Thank you, Envy, with your cute hiney. Oh, oh. it's the breakfast He's like a girl butt. Right? <laughs> Envy told me you used to have a crush on him, but he couldn't. Uh, what? I didn't say that. He couldn't you'd do nothing because he was married, so he, he turned you down. That's what he told me. I didn't say that. That's what yeah, he told right. me. You're turning red. I am turning red. You didn't tell me that? <laughs> no. Liar, liar, red boy on fire. <laughs> <laughs> the breakfast level on Power 105 on Kelly Rowling. <laughs>